Greetings, welcome, and thank you for clicking. I'm Christian from Standing Stones Healing, where my mission is to support your journey with unique, powerful, encouraging, relaxing healing experiences, coaching, and encouragement for life's changes, transitions, and challenges. Welcome, and thank you for clicking. In this video, I want to talk about gratitude. I am a huge believer in gratitude. I'm a big proponent of gratitude, and I believe that it is the essential foundation of a spiritual existence. Gratitude is so meaningful to me that I don't believe in just an attitude of gratitude, but rather a life of gratitude, meaning that gratitude isn't just an attitude that we cultivate, but rather that it is infused in our bones. This is the gratitude that I strive to live by. Every morning when I wake up, I have a quote hanging above my bed. And every morning I wake up, I say this quote. Today is a day of completion. I give thanks for this perfect day. Miracle shall follow miracle, and wonders will never cease. This is a quote by Florence Scovel Shin from her book, The Game of Life. It is actually old enough that it is in the public domain, and you can find this book online as an ebook for free. Just Google The Game of Life. If I remember, maybe I'll put a link to it in the comments in the uh, About section below. Um, so I say this quote every morning as I arise from bed, and I have been saying it every morning for years. I think it's been about five or six years now that I've been saying this quote every morning. And I really want to live this quote in terms of giving thanks for the day and in terms of recognizing that the day is a miracle. It truly is. If you think about it, all of us, you, me, this amazing tree that I actually want to give a shout out to, look at this gorgeous tree with all of the moss and lichen. This is amazing. I love moss, by the way. Um, there's a, a well of water here the, from a babbling brook, brook running below underneath the tree and this beautiful water with a moss covered ring around it. This is just stellar. What a perfect place to sit and talk about gratitude. Thanks. So um, yes, yes, the miracle. So this tree is a miracle. This water is a miracle. This moss is a miracle. I am a miracle, you are a miracle. If you think about it, no matter what you believe in, the very fact that we exist at all is such an incredibly slim chance. The earth is the exact spot it needs to be from the sun in order for all of us to survive and to survive in this way, shape, and form that we do. It is such a slim chance that the fact that we exist at all is a sheer miracle. And so if we just sit and contemplate that, how can we not give thanks all day, every day, for that miracle itself? So I'm a big believer in uh, gratitude just for the fact that we're alive. Praise is my favorite word. And it's my favorite word because it is thanks, absolutely, but it's a joyful thanks. It is a thanks that really has song in it and enthusiasm in it. And um, it's a, a, a joyful thank you. So I love the word praise. And this is the kind of way that I want to be living is in a joyful thank you of life and everything that I've been so blessed to have an experience. So 
this is all wonderful, Christian. How do I be so joyous and joyful? Well, first I want to say that it is a work in progress and that um, even though I strive to live my life in this way, it doesn't mean that in every single moment I always am without fail. So it's something that we really need to cultivate and that we need to keep doing. And we can't just say, thanks a lot, and we're done. We need to be continually saying thank you and um, enumerating our thank yous. So how do we do this? Yes, enumerating thank yous, counting your blessings is a great way to start. So sitting down and actually writing out a list of things that you are grateful for, 10 things that you are grateful for. Sit down, write them out and go. A gratitude journal is a wonderful way to express thanks and to cultivate uh, these feelings of gratitude in your life. And so, um, this is a, a, a great thing to do, but not something that you have to do or need to do. If you're not the kind who likes to journal, I am also a big proponent of journaling. Uh, but if you are not someone who really likes to journal, then it doesn't have to be in a journal. But a journal can be a great way to do this. Uh, also, some people recommend doing it in the evening right before bed. That's a wonderful time, but it doesn't have to be that time. Any time is the perfect time for gratitude. Any time is the perfect time to say thank you. As a matter of fact, after you finish watching this video, I'm going to challenge you, encourage you to reach out to someone and say thank you. Thank them for something. Someone who uh, is in your life, um, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter why you're thanking them, but give them an honest and sincere thank you, whether through text or email, pick up the phone, or shout across the room. Whatever the case might be, thank them. When you give thanks, not only is the receiver of the thanks feeling the gratitude, but you are too. So not only is that person feeling positivity because of your thanks, but you are feeling positivity for giving thanks. This is one of the great secrets of gratitude, is that the gratitude that you give comes right back to you. So gratitude is felt not only by the receiver, but also by the giver. So if you wanna get feelings of gratitude, give feelings of gratitude. So sitting down with your journal, listing it out. Um, another way is to list out things that you're grateful for from A to Z, rather than just maybe 10 things. So start with something you're grateful for, starting with A. Air, thank you, air. I'm so thankful for air. Um, and then go on down the alphabet from there. By the time you're done, you're gonna have 26 things that you are thankful for. And I guarantee that your mood will be much improved from where you were when you started at A. I use counting my blessings as a technique myself for the times when I feel that um, I am, mm, my mood is plummeting, I should say. Maybe I've had something uh, happen, I've experienced something, and it has affected my mood. Um, I will stop myself and I will say uh, something to myself like, I gotta turn this ship around. You gotta turn this ship around. I'll stop and say, okay, 10 things. And then I will start listing off 10 things on my fingers. And I will sit there and I will say, I'm thankful for this. Thank you for that. Oh, there's this, there's that. By the time I get to number 10, by the way, I'm very thankful I have 10 fingers. Thank you, 10 fingers. By the time I get to number 10, my mood has unfailingly improved. And sometimes, many times, I even forget exactly what it was I was getting worked up about. Oh, what was it that I was getting? What, what was, oh, that's right. Oh, you know, that's not such a big deal after all. It's okay. And so um, that is a technique that I personally use. Um, 
So another thing that I recommend is to give thanks to inanimate objects. Now, of course, we want to be giving thanks to the people in our lives. First and foremost, we want to be thanking people. We want to be thanking our loved ones who, incidentally, are often the people who don't get as much thanks from us as they could. And so I'm going to encourage you to reach out, first and foremost, to people in your life and thank them. And thank them frequently. So if you thank that one person after this video, and it felt good and they appreciated it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to encourage you, challenge you, to reach out to five people after this video and give thanks to five people in your life. And don't stop after this video. Keep going and keep going. Every day, who can you thank today? Who can you send a message to, a text, a phone call, a shout out across the room, carrier pigeon, whatever your method might be, who can you thank and thank them for what? Because that thanks absolutely will improve your mood as well. So, in addition to thanking people, thanking inanimate objects. I want to right now thank my camera. Thank you, camera, for the ability to come to you in this method. I mean, what absolutely incredible kind of thing it is that I can be sitting here in this beautiful space talking to you about gratitude, and you can be watching and listening from wherever you are in the world. Wow, thanks for that capability. Thank you, camera, that I can bring you along with me to this beautiful location and talk to you about something so important in this space. By the way, thank you. I know I say it at the beginning of every video, but thank you for tuning in and watching. You could be watching a billion other videos right now, and instead you are watching or listening to this one, and for that, I am truly honored and grateful. Thank you. But the thanking of our inanimate objects, you may think, Christian, the camera has no idea that you are thanking it. The camera cannot hear your gratitude. Okay, even if you believe that the camera can't hear me, what I believe for sure is that when you thank things, you appreciate them. And when you appreciate them, you take better care of them. It's the same way with our relationships with people. It's the same way with our relationship with inanimate objects. I'll give you an example. My car is old. I purchased my car in 2003, brand new. And um, I have kept that car for a long, long time. As a matter of fact, my next car won't be a brand new car, but it has really worked out well for me with this car because I have kept it for such a long, long time. And that car has served, has served me incredibly well. Uh, when I drive my car, I will pat the dashboard and thank it. Um, I take good care of it. I appreciate it very much. And that car has in turn done great things for me. It has allowed me to come here to you today in this beautiful location. It has allowed me to drive all kinds of places. It has served me well. It has done well. And so I am always saying thank you to my car. And people marvel at its age. They can't believe how old my car is when they look at it because I've taken good care of it and I've taken good care of it because I appreciate it. And because I've taken good care of it and appreciate it, it has continued to serve me very well. So that is one example of how taking care of our inanimate objects, our computers, our cameras, our cars, our coffee makers, 
how taking care of these things, appreciating them, thanking them, um, allows them to then serve us all the more. Your bed, for instance. When you awake in the morning, do you thank your bed? I know, Christian, that's a crazy thing. Thanking your bed? Yes, because it is a wonderful blessing to have a bed and to sleep every night in a bed. There are millions of people all over the world who sleep every night on cots, maybe in refugee camps. Maybe they sleep in tents. Maybe they sleep on the bare ground. And so if you sleep every night in a bed, that is a true blessing. And if you sleep every night in a comfortable bed, wow, you are truly fortunate. Give thanks for that bed. I know I am very fortunate to have a very nice, comfortable bed. And so you better believe I am very thankful for my bed. So thank your inanimate objects. Treat them with respect. Appreciate them and they will serve you all the better. So, gratitude. Gratitude not only has wonderful spiritual benefits, but also physical benefits. There's a whole host of research on gratitude's benefits. I encourage you to seek out more information on gratitude and its benefits, but it will do things for you like lower blood pressure. That's a pretty big claim from something as simple as saying thank you. But again, it's not a once and done thing. I can't say thank you like a pill. Thank you and done. And then I never need to say thank you again. Like with medication, including blood pressure medication, it's something that you have to take again and again and again. And so I encourage you to take your daily dose of thank you and to reach out, thank someone right after you finish watching this video. As a matter of fact, if you can, thank five people and see how you feel afterward. If you don't feel better, I'll be shocked and surprised. If you don't feel better, I don't even know what to say to that because I'm positive, absolutely 100%, that you will feel better after you say thank you to five people. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to thank you for your attempts at continuing to be grateful throughout your life. And I also want to encourage you to please leave in the comments below. What are you thankful for? Or what are some of your gratitude tips and tricks? What are ways that you cultivate gratitude in your life? I also want to welcome you to view some of my other videos, even subscribe or even check out the Standing Stones Healing YouTube channel where you can see all of my other videos or visit standingstoneshealing.com where you can learn more about me and how I can serve you. So thank you for viewing. I am Christian of Standing Stones Healing where my mission is to support your journey with powerful, encouraging healing experiences, including Reiki, coaching, and encouragement for life's changes, challenges, and transitions. Thank you, and blessings to you.